around the world. This is Epic Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube, and this is Forex Trading Course 101. Remember, we are trying to build a strategy and or a system, and we need to understand how the risk management works, and we need to understand the big one, how the psychology part works. Hello Crystal Ball, hello Max, hello George, how are you? If this is your first time everyone, we are in the beginner module. If, he, if this is your first time, please go back to the Dukascopy YouTube channel and try to watch all the basic videos, the videos about the market structure, highs and lows and trends. Okay? Now remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice, the webinars are for educational purposes only. Either way, don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Hello Annie, hello Silas. Silas, I send you a link for the Portuguese webinar on, in the LinkedIn. And for homeworks and or questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact, or if you hello Miguel and my LinkedIn contact. So that being said, we need to open what is today bearish, bearish from yesterday. So we're going to open today. We are going to talk about the bullish candlestick formations. Okay, so take a screenshot if you didn't do yet. You are going to find these bullish, different bullish and bearish candlestick formations uh, on the internet. Just write in the Google bullish or bearish candlestick formations so they are going to open. Okay? Now, we were talking about NZDJPY. Okay? Now, let's open which one? U Euro dollar, USDJPY. Let's open an interest, interesting one, everybody. Let's open USDCHF. USDCHF. And unduck, right? Let's open USDCHF. And I need to adjust a little bit. There you go. Okay. Crystal Ball, can you please upload at any server pictures or formations? Uh, send me an email. Send me an email or send me a Skype. I am going to send you this candlestick formation, these pictures. If you want the pictures, I can send it to you. Just send me an email or a contact or something. Okay, so USDCHF, daily chart and monthly chart, right? Now, on the monthly chart, we have different things. One is that maybe, just maybe, we are seeing uh, the so called sideways movement, okay, with different points. One is this one, the second one is this one, right? The third support would be here. Okay, and lastly, the fourth support would be here. Okay, but the last time, the last few months and years, what we are seeing is the market is bouncing between those two support and resistance, right? Support and resistance, support and resistance. Okay, it's my favorite currency. Okay, tell me, Max. Are you short or are you long? Everybody, should we go short or should we go long? What do you think? In a sideways movement, we said that we have three tradable market behaviors. One is the uptrend, the other one is the downtrend, and we said that there is a third market behavior, tradable, which is the so-called sideways movement, right? So here you have the uptrend line, here you have the downtrend line, and here you have equals, more or less, right? Equal lines, equal support, equal resistance, most likely. 
So what should we do? Should we go short or should we go long on USDC HF? And when we are talking about should we go short or long is long term. This is the long term bias, the long term direction. Be why is that? Because we are in the monthly chart. I was long, I was told till 0 0.994, okay? Eddington says short, hello Eddington. Now deal is closed and I did not see any formation to go long or short, I stay out. Okay, great. Now what we're going to do, and we learned about the market waves, we learned about extensions, retracement, extension, retracements. We are going to see what is happening in here and we are going to do from the daily chart and maybe we are going to jump from the 4 hour chart or we are going to jump to the 2 hour chart and we are going to see what is this or, or the market is moving up or the market is moving down and hopefully we are going to address bullish candlestick formations George says short so yesterday we were talking about bearish today we are going to try to find bullish candlestick formation Okay, so we're going to open a new one and let's go on the daily chart. We're going to compress the chart, compress the chart, and if you cannot see clearly, you go one time frame above, which is the weekly, and just the upper band, the lower band, this one, right? I think it's here. There you go. So this is the weekly and we're going to jump onto the daily chart. Okay, daily chart. There you go. And remember yesterday we are trying to start building our strategy. So strategy, strategy, strategy. We said Everybody, you can accept what you like, you can reject what you don't like, okay? You can take what you like, what you think it's okay, you, you can take out. So we're going to enter strategy. Enter only when I see number one CTB, stands for counter trend and break. Number two CF, candlestick formation at some level of support slash resistance 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 okay this is our strategy enter only when I see counter trend line break and some candlestick formation at some level of support and resistance and it says stay out for a while Crystal ball short is not correct because average price which goes it's 10.66 I think will open up if we hit 0.99 target will be big, stop loss will be thank you crystal ball okay everybody these webinars are not trading or investment advice so if you are going to trade okay assume your risk be responsible okay now talking about the short trades okay and the market wave what we have learned so far is the market wave so extension retracement extension retracement extension retracement extension retracement extension okay so this pair is still in a down market wave no not up market wave okay but we have come to a critical area if the market is going to break the structural high which is this one right then we are going to see and we are going to need to reverse our structure and remember the beginner traders they make money and pips in an uptrend they make money and pips in a downtrend and they lose all the profits in a sideways movement. Agreed? So you need to
should be careful everyone <clears throat> how the market moves and how the market behaves okay the long-term bias is down long-term short meaning it touched the upper band it should go no guarantees it should go down it should fall okay why is this important well maybe maybe just maybe the market is going to break the level of this relevant high and then start to fall back down okay so we learned also how to confirm a trend don't buy in here don't go long in here why is that because any said yesterday this is only a 50% lag Dollar is nothing with Switzerland, man. <laughs> okay, great. <clears throat> so remember, maybe this currency pair is sideways. Okay, you need to be aware as a beginner trader and try to understand how the market works. Okay, so maybe we are like somewhere like this, something like this okay don't go long just because the market is going to break a higher high or the relevant high because the long-term bias is short okay nonetheless we were talking about how to trade retracements and how to trade what you see right so starting from this point up to this point the market was in an uptrend right so extension retracement extension and we have a deep retracement so far and i don't know where you live today we have the fomc news announcement and if they are going to decrease the interest rate then technically speaking the market is going to fall and make the new extension the market loves to make false breaks and hit the stop loss level especially when they are together yes sir george absolutely true this is why we are trying to teach you the best logical stop is above the market structure or below the market structure and george you are absolutely right it's going to hit your stop loss just to smile at your face and then it's going to reverse it is also pivot point area so it should react to the downside yes just remember that today we have news coming out of the USA okay now we have the bullish candlestick formation so we are going to look at the USDCHF on the smaller scale we are going to go on the two hour chart and trying to identify the bullish shooting star, the bullish morning star, the bullish engulfing candle you don't need to know the, the names or the... you don't need to remember it, you just need to see it okay so let's go from the daily, we're going to jump on the 2 hour chart 2 hour chart and for all the counter traders or the counter trend traders right let's see what is here so this is going to be the down trend line break let's see there you go and something like this okay and of course we don't have the crystal ball but we are the counter trend traders okay and we are just trying to train today how to spatially see the picture is theory right the bullish shooting star or the bullish engulfing candle but in the live market this candlestick formation they're they're going to appear a little bit differently and george is saying the decrease of the usd rate by 0.25 is given the question is if there will be more rate cut by the end of the year yes sir i think that the top of the channel is now close to a pivot yes ma'am also so we have a down or a counter trend and break right and we are going to start with the first extension a retracement and we are going to wait for the next extension which is here
extension retracement extension remember everybody we told you yesterday not all bullish or bearish candlesticks are relevant so we need to find we want to enter bullish candlestick formations at the end of the retracement okay so we have we are going to delete the downtrend line is not relevant anymore not relevant not relevant and we are going to draw our first uptrend line which is going to be here first uptrend line there you go there you go which is going to be here now let's see the market we are going to zoom in the chart this is the first leg extension retracement extension it's a high right now let's see the market is moving down down so we are going to draw a counter trend line on the candles let's see one more okay now we are here this is the market wait for one more we are going to adjust our uptrend line and we are going to extend our counter trend line our downtrend line so let's color code the uptrend line in blue okay and we have the black the black is the counter trend line okay now what do you think is this a bullish candlestick formation the white one the first one or the second one could the second one be the bullish engulfing candle or could be the bullish piercing line there is no right or wrong <clears throat> what do you think could this be a bullish signal you can say yes you can say no and one more thing we need to measure and I'm going to put a horizontal line because we don't see the future right one more thing we need to measure is the past support levels so past support level is here we're going to coracle this in green past support level number one past support level number two right past support level number three there you go and we're going to do it like this transparency so we can see the candles those are all level of past support why is that because we are trying to trade our strategy we need to see a counter trend line break with some kind of bullish or bearish candlestick formation max says morning star correct maybe yes maybe yes maybe not it could be it could be the blue the white the white again and he says no victor says yes does it make sense to look for a candlestick formation in one two hour chart absolutely yes george absolutely yes it just depends on when the clock ticks the next hour much more reasonable is the candlestick formation in the daily George, if we shift the time by 0.5, are the candlestick formation the same? No, they are not the same. But you are correct when you say that the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame. So the daily candlestick formation, George, they are more powerful. Okay. But you are incorrect, George, when you say that on the 1, 2 and 4 hours they are not relevant or not important. This is not true. Okay? You are correct when you say, well, the daily are more important. Yes, of course. Because the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame. But you are incorrect when you say, well, on the day, on the 2 hours, on 1 hour and the 4 hour chart, they are not relevant. This is not true. Okay? If this was true, nobody would trade candlestick formations on the smaller time frames. Okay? And the smaller trends form the bigger trends, remember? Okay? Now, 
we are here we don't have the counter trend line break yet but we have some kind of bullish signal a bullish candlestick formation it could be the bullish morning star the blue one this one this one not the perfect one but we have here bullish i'm going to delete the vertical line we have here bullish decision this could be a bullish engulfing candle okay so our strategy we are going to enter only when number one we see a counter trend and break did the counter trend line break happen everybody did the counter trend line break happen no right not yet do we have some kind not the perfect one bullish candlestick formation at some level of past support yes we do right yes we do okay remember this everybody if you're a beginner trader and we when you are building your strategy or system you need to have all the criteria in place before you enter the trade okay the more criteria in place the bigger the probability of success so i'm not going to jump just because i have some kind of bullish engulfing candle or the bullish morning started some level of past support i'm going to wait for the counter trend line break so i'm going to wait one more one more one more and right now now i have a counter trend line break agreed okay so we are going to we are going to extend the retracement until here okay it's not confirmed yet so 50 percent we're going to extend the retracement we're going to enter buying this candlestick formation so our entry is going to be here it's going to be the green one this is going to be our entry somewhere in here okay stop loss now the big one right stop loss if we don't know where to put our stop and I'm going to give a horizontal line again sorry vertical line if we don't know I had yesterday a student in here right said man this is difficult yes it is yes it is you need to understand the market wave so we entered in here which one everybody stop loss number one is going to be red and like this or stop loss number two which one is the right or the better so stop loss number one which stop loss is in the most logical place at least technically speaking what do you think You made interesting. You made interesting things. Sometimes you adjust the trend line or count on trend line. Sometimes not. Why? It's not the why, Max. You adjust the counter trend line or the trend line when the market moves. Okay. When the market makes a higher high or a lower low, then you adjust the trend lines. When until it doesn't, you don't need to adjust. Number two. Number two. Is anybody here who thinks that number one is the correct answer? I mean the most logical stop? Okay, remember this everybody, your strategy is not going to make any money if you don't know where to put your stop loss, okay? entries are just part of the game okay maybe you are very good at entries you are right 70% of the time 80% of the time 90% of the time your entry is correct 
but if you don't know where to put the stop loss you aren't going to make any consistent pips and money and it says no number one anybody else with any then I'm going to say to you again what is the right answer where is the most logical place to put the stop okay what is this line everybody what is this line I'm going to color code like in what color yellow yellow line <clears throat> what is this line the yellow line Silas number one okay Silas and any you are not correct okay what is the yellow line is this the extension or is this the retracement the yellow line is this an extension or is this a retracement the yellow one extension so you said that the stop loss number one is the correct can the market fall stop you out and fall further and and can fall until here and still be in an up wave can the market fall stop you out on the stop loss and still be in an up market wave yes this is an extension you are all right so the question is can the market fall stop you out on your stop loss number one fall further and still be in an up wave meaning it's making extensions retracement extensions the market can go below number one and still remain in an uptrend thank you george any and silas do you understand this why the stop loss number one it's not wrong it's better than nothing it's not wrong but the most logical place hello Milan the most logical place is the stop loss number two because the market can fall stop you out still falling and reverse and go up Victor and any I want to hear from you guys can you see this do you understand this this is why the stop loss number one it's okay nothing wrong but still this would be the most logical place okay I'm going to delete so this one this one stop loss number one bye bye okay there you go and we're going to see how this trade market can do all fall upside and while waiting losing money from for overnight <laughs> swaps and lose <laughs> yes you can okay so the market is moving down up right okay we are talking about remember we are talking about bullish candlestick formations is this one those two a bullish candlestick formation the market went down and reversed and went up is this a bullish candlestick formation everyone yes but to trade close to a pivot it doesn't matter any it doesn't matter okay remember pivot points are from the monthly chart okay Victor says yes is this a bullish candlestick formation could be could this be a bullish piercing line right the market fall down and then reversed minimum 60% I would say I would say yes this is a bullish piercing line so let's see how it's going to play out moving up moving sideways okay now it made a high I'm going to delete this right so from the market wave standpoint we have the retracement and we have the extension right so we're going to color code this in orange bye bye yellow line orange okay now when this happens when the market gives you a high like this we told you yesterday if you want you can put your stop loss 
to break even. Why is that? Because I or we, Max has, but we don't have the crystal ball. Okay, we don't have the crystal ball and we don't know what is going to happen. So we are going to adjust our uptrend line like this. Hello Kane, Kenat, how are you? Why need return 60% not 7 to 80? Max, I have no idea my friend. I, I never studied Japanese candlesticks that, that deep, so I don't know. What the correlation between 60? No idea. But I believe there are some books on the internet that you can read about the why of the Japanese candlesticks. The real technical trader. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so we are going to see what is going to happen. Let's see. Okay, market moving up. Steven Lemar, where to put a profit? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Steven? And again, everybody, if this is your first time with us, go on the Dukascopy YouTube channel and watch the webinar starting from webinar number one. Okay, if this is too complex and you don't understand, go back and watch all the videos two or three times. Okay, oh, passion, but this is too much. Well, watch one video per day. Watch one before the webinar and maybe one later. You can do it. <laughs> You're Ericsson. Yes. Not me, you are. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Kenneth. Steven, what do you think? Where to put the take profit? Steven, there is no right or wrong. There are different strategies on how to manage the risk and the reward, but one of the basic ones for the beginner traders is if you are going to risk one you need to go after minimum two okay Steven look chat I was written before okay Steven there are different techniques on how to manage the risk and reward but the basic one is if you are going to risk one percent one dollar ten dollars five euros you need to get after minimum two two percent two dollars ten euros whatever okay now we are moving up right so question how to lose money everybody is this a the white one is this a bullish candlestick formation another counter trend line break happened another counter trend line break happened and is this a bullish candlestick formation and Sila says engulfing candle is this a bullish is this a bullish candlestick is this a bullish engulfing candle or Maybe, right, maybe we have bullish tweezer bottoms, we have two long weeks, two long weeks in here, okay, so it must be two reward to risk, minimum, yes sir, minimum, this is the minimum, better one, two, three, one, two, four, and it says yes, okay, second question, are we going to enter in here, are we going to enter in here? Okay, that says yes. Okay, so why? We have a counter trend line break at some past level of support with the bullish candlestick formation, right? Now, one thing that is maybe questionable is is this uh, a retracement, right? Is this the end of the retracement? Right? So we don't know this, maybe yes, maybe not. However, if we are going to take this opportunity, stop loss goes, one goes here, one goes here. So one is at break even, this trade is at break even, the next stop loss goes here because we have the market wave, extension, retracement, extension, it's confirmed. And of course, crystal ball and heart psychology that you are doing. <laughs> are correct 
Okay, so let's see how it's going to play. The market is moving up, next candle, and sideways down. Okay, not this one. Bam, so we we didn't make any money on this trade, but we didn't lose either because we were at break even, right? Passion, why do you put your stop loss at break even? Because I don't have the crystal ball. I, I know the market wave, right? Okay, let's go again. So, what I know and what I understand is the market wave. So, I know and we learned this what is the extension and we learned what is the retracement, how to spot, how to how to conform, we learned all of this. And I have another extension in here. So, what I don't have, and I know that the market is retracing like this and then it's changing, right? And as soon as possible, as soon as possible, when the market makes a higher high, then it, it confirms this next retracement let's color code in what? blue but the extension the next extension is in question great question though this extension is in, que is in question okay so the market I saw a higher high this is why I put my stop loss to break even let's say that we entered in here okay we entered in here this was our entry the market made a higher high I put my stop loss to break even why is that well I don't have the crystal ball and maybe I'm not going to make any money but if the market is going to reverse I won't be losing either okay this is kind of introduction to the knowledge on how to manage the trades. Remember one of the first rules that we were teaching you, don't let a loser, because, I mean don't let a winner, don't let a winning trade become a losing trade. So you need to manage, entries are just a tiny part of the game. Oh man! Uh, I just bought a robot that is 90% right. I mean, he, he asserts 90% of the entries are right. Well, most likely you are not going to make any money with this robot. Oh, why not? And da, da, da. Because entries are just part of the game. The robot needs to measure risk, the reward. It needs to adjust the trend lines. It needs to adjust with the moving market. Okay, this is the why. So higher high. I don't know the. I don't have the crystal ball. Maybe it's the end of the extension. This is why I put my stop loss to break even. So we are here, and we said okay. The market stopped us out. So let's continue. On the second trade, the market is falling. In our stop loss is here. So let's see. Let's wait. Okay, on a bigger scale, let's wait. We are going to see, need to see a high or a low. Okay, there you go. So we are going to connect again. Extension, this is the new retracement. This is the new retracement. I'm going to delete a few things. And we have another opportunity, another bullish candlestick formation in here. Robot is not correct. After my strategy, robot is much more complicated. Okay, Max, I don't know what you are talking about. It's Chinese to me. <laughs> I don't ha I don't know the programming Java and everything, but I think you're right. So trader number one is out. Trader number two is in. Trader number two entered in here this is trader number two okay so this trader is out trade number one is out 
Trader number two is here, he's still in, stop loss is down. But trader number one, if you want, we can jump and see. Let me check. Okay, it's not the perfect one, but we have. Let me see if I can arrange this. I cannot break the candles, so it's going to be something like this, more likely. We have another counter trendline break. Engulfing, yes, sir. Engulfing, yes, sir. Okay, so if we are going to enter in here right where does the stop loss go everybody does the stop loss go where is the stop loss number one does the stop loss go stop loss number one or should the stop loss go where is the stop loss number two Stop loss number two. Steven, which one is the correct answer? And Kanak, which one is the correct answer? And everybody else? At least technically speaking, where is the most logical place to put the stop? Is in here or is in here? Is the stop loss number one or is the stop loss number two? On Java is written or likely J forex. Great. So stop loss number one or stop loss number two. Which where and when is the most logical place to put the stop? Two, two, two. Steven, what about you, my friend? Silas, any? Let's see if you have learned something. Knat two. Does anybody here think it's number one? George two, Silas two. Great, so yes, okay. So I'm going to delete this, delete this, delete. Let's see how this is going to play out. Moving down, down. See? Moving sideways. Bam, we have a new and a deeper extension a new retracement too because number one can be stopped in market yes great congratulations to all of you everybody now we have another beautiful bullish candlestick formation what is this one i'm going to move one further for you to see hopefully okay there you go what kind of Candlestick formation is this? Is this a bullish candlestick formation? Is this a bearish? But this is a beautiful one. Okay, it's like from the picture. It's a textbook. Bullish candlestick formation. And the counter trendline break, an even aggressive one, is here. So we have bullish candlestick formation at the and we have the counter trendline break and we have past level of support. So based on our strategy, we have everything placed to enter, right? What could be, could be the bullish morning star engulfing candle, right? Yes, Steven, correct. This is the bullish morning star okay yes and if some of you are asking well but you have five candles well this is the live market this is the live market but you have if you look to the bullish morning star you have a down candle uh, some kind of indecision candle and you have the decision candle from the bulls wizard bottom no no sir okay no sir not wizard bottoms if this was big enough, the center candle and without the white, maybe yes, but well, I'm not a guru, so I'm not going to say 100%, but I would say this is not tweezer bottom, okay? At least in my opinion, Max, I would say this is the bullish morning star. And for the third trader, if you want, he would enter here, stop loss here again. Right, so we have trader number one, trader number two, 
trader number three and all of them put the stop loss down here let's see what is going to happen the market's moving up sideways further right moving up moving up bam congratulations to all of you now we are going to adjust the uptrend line max there is a video on how to adjust the uptrend lines why we are going to adjust the uptrend line because the market just made a higher high so our uptrend line is going to be like this okay now we need to see a high what is a high it's a center candle all formations are similar yes they are we need to see a central candle with two candles on the left and two candles on the right so let's see for another one okay one more there you go so this is the next high what we are going to do we are going to connect so we have the next extension retracement extension okay Steven my friend the trader number three risk that much risk that much and clone he is earning maybe a little bit more or less okay that what he was risking and we are not we are not going to have time today to talk about how to manage the risk and the reward but with this was one of the previous lessons if you are going to take your profits right now you need to stay in the game and continue to trade because if you are going to take your profits now and forget about USDCHF then you are entering and forming what are called bad trading habits okay but this goes for all the traders what is the difference between engulfing candle and piercing line the structure max the structure is different if you can read the picture you have different structures with different rules yes one risk one reward okay so all of the traders maybe the first one is at break even but trader number three and trader number two right maybe the trader number and also all of the traders are in profit now again there is no right or wrong how to manage the trade but when you see a higher high what can you do number one you can take profits but you need to re-enter and trade again you need to make more than you risk or you, what you can do, you can put your stop loss to break even and run the, tr run the trend if it's going to continue. Okay, so there is, there, those are two different techniques on how to manage the trade, where to take profits. There is no right or wrong. If you are going to take profits in here, okay, but you need to re-enter on the next opportunities. You need to make more than you are risking. Or if you are going to put your stop loss, all of them to break even, it's also okay. At least you don't have any more risk in the market. So even if the market retraces and it reverses, you aren't going to lose any money. I still in opinion the Japanese candlestick not work. No problem, no problem. We are not trying to convince anybody, <clears throat> okay? As we said everybody, when you form a strategy you can take what you like, what you believe, you can take out what you don't like, what you don't believe, okay? I have students that say, well, I don't trust the Fibonacci, or I don't believe the Fibonacci. No problem, go find another indicator that you believe that you are more comfortable with okay now let's see what is going to happen the market sideways still moving moving made a higher high so trade
equator number three, right? It's almost one per two. And again, if the trader, the first trader would move his stop loss to break even, he would be stopped out. Trader number two, not yet. Trader number three, not yet. Okay. One to one bad trading habit. Yes, Stephen, absolutely correct. Let's see what is going to happen. Hopefully the market is sideways and moving up. Okay, now there you have it, Steven. Now you have one, you are risking one and you are earning two. Okay, now for from the next, let's wait. Bam, <laughs> look what happened. <laughs> Crazy stuff. And this is the two hour chart. Okay, if you wouldn't manage this trade, well, no problem, right? Because this, this doesn't happen every day. This was the news announcement, everybody. But if you didn't manage your trade here, right? If you wouldn't take your profits then, well, you didn't lose either. You were just stopped out. But you would say, oh man, all of this hard work and for nothing. Well, not for nothing. You are building your experience. You are learning how to trade, you know? FIBO is great, I love contrarian Fibonacci. True risk is the greatest, or true risk reward. The higher the reward, the better, everybody. So let's see what happened here. I'm going to delete this, delete this, and let's see, we have what we have, what do we have here? I'm going to delete support, support, support. So this was the extension, and Finally, we are here right now. We are here right now. Now, well, we don't have enough time, but I'm going to show how and where and why traders lose money. Especially the beginner traders. Delete this one, delete this one. Okay. So, what do we have here? Well, we have the starting point we have we are at the beginning stage of the down structure right because the market broke the relevant low this is the relevant low i'm going to delete the other stuff delete 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 so this is the relevant low and the market made a lower low right who in here, I hate this type of candles, <laughs> no. this type of candles are part of the market and you should embrace them, cannot? You don't need to trade them, but you need to embrace them, meaning you need to be aware that are part of the market, okay? Who in here would go short right now? Why is that? Well, we have a high. We have the first high and we have the first lower low, right? So I'm going to short the market right now. We are not going to have enough time, but if you would short the market, right? And this is the retracement. Let's wait, the retracement. This is the retracement. Let's see what happened here. And somewhere in here maybe, right? If you would short the market in here, what is this? This is a... Uh, Kenneth, I need to finish five minutes before because there is a Rakesh coming on the stage. So we have one more minute at least. This is a 75% leg everybody and if you would short in here you would lose this is the point you would enter just a 75 percent leg okay this was a false breakout and stay strong and trade with passion this is fx passion signing off